Hello Aries, welcome to your singles reading. Uh, please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. Whatever, whatever doesn't fit or doesn't resonate, please just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. Uh, please like and subscribe, you guys. We're going to take a look at what's coming in, uh, the person coming towards you. So we'll get into a couple things here. So let's get right into your reading. Let's see. Okay. Queen of Wands. Okay, there's a lot of attention here. A lot of attention and excitement right now. You may have been really bored uh, for quite some time here. But there might be a shift here in that. Someone who notices you. Someone who makes conversation with you. Someone that you're going to have fun with. There's that conversation here. Eight of Wands. A lot of talking. A lot of getting to know. It's like accepting an offer here. You might have had many offers that you were not into. People that you were dating that you just were not feeling. But this is a time where I feel like you're going to be getting a lot more attention here, Aries. There's been a lot of worry here and stress surrounding your love life a lot going on a lot in your mind also a lot of heartache here heartache here and wanting to find that place of calm that place and space where you can just focus on you continue to focus on growth but also remaining positive and having faith that there will be a relationship here where you can truly build with someone truly connect with someone uh, and decide what it is that you two want to build together that might be here the the um reluctance here to even possibly get back into dating to accepting an offer for someone because there has been uh, so much going on that has caused you a lot of worry and a, a lot of needing of healing as well but a lot of attention here definitely a lot of attention and an offer coming in here a lot of communication speaking to someone <clears throat> there may be some travel here for you you can meet someone while you're traveling there's that Knight of Pentacles. All right, so you can expect this person to be um, very steady. This person is consistent. I feel like uh, there's a lot of growth here with taking time. You might be wanting, whoa, you might be wanting to take your time here. Tower came out right here. A lot of changes and new beginnings. It's possible a lot of you have uh, still in the process of healing from a breakup here because you've been through so much, uh, but really wanting to rebuild as well. It's all about what is being offered to you, what someone is really coming to you with. I feel like that's what you're focusing on. That's what's important to you, making sure that there's an offer that's genuine and it's going to be stable and this person is going to put just as much work in as you have yeah you can expect a lot more stability here when it comes to relationships and starting over building again the hermit uh time of deep reflection here i feel like there's uh going to be someone here who really makes you think uh, who uh, really keens your interest as far as your ideas, as far as certain things that you felt that you didn't want to get into. You might be a little bit more comfortable with this person here. It's a change. It's it's surprising. It may even be unexpected here for some of you. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort, putting in a lot of work. And when you do, it is oh so sweet here. Uh, this is definitely a connection that uh, is going to be full of surprises, full of shocks, but also give you a lot to think about. It's like the two of you are going to be really serious about getting to know each other, about communicating and really growing things together. It's all about stability here. So it looks really good. Six of Pentacles, again, kindness, generosity, giving time, giving effort, giving energy, that exchange to each other. This is what you can expect. This is what's coming in. All right, so let's take a look at the person coming towards you. See if we get any signs here. We have Empress here. Okay. This is a very loving person. This is someone who knows how to love and is full of it. Uh, this is someone again, hanged, uh, the hanged man here. This is someone with a lot of different views. Um, this is someone who, uh, his, uh, <laughs> their views, uh, their beliefs, 
how they make decisions here. I think this person takes their time and they take it very serious here. Eight of Cups, this person has had a lot of disappointments in life. Very uh, uh, interesting situations here causing this person to grow and have a, a, a more newfound perspective here Aries with how they want to love what is healthy what they look for in a partner and what they want to give to their person I feel like this person is truly ready this person is ready to start over again to build from the bottom up beautiful building it together three of pentacles so this is a beautiful partnership here this is teamwork going back to that effort that energy that time that exchange again working it out working it out and holding on building it together all hands on deck here with you and this person we have the wise one here as well so this person is very serious they take a relationship serious they want something long term they want something that's going to last i feel like you and this person are going to uh, really agree as far as what you value when it comes to relationships this person is also very confident uh very good looking very confident this person is always ready to move forward uh ready to move ahead very positive uh demeanor here this person is a uh, very pot of positive <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even talk. This person is very positive when it comes to how they move, when it comes to what they're going to do and build with you. And we're getting into it, what they're building and what they want to do with you. They want to have happiness. They want to build that family. They want to build that home. They want to build that place that feels like home between the two of you. And it all goes back to that stability here. You and this person feeling so happy and having a reason to celebrate together, Aries. Very beautiful energy here. So this person could be a Taurus, could be Pisces. This person could be a Virgo, Scorpio, Aries. Taurus coming through very strong. We're going to get more. Let's get more about this person. All right. Page of Swords. Very intelligent. Uh, this person is very wise. They, they love to get information. They love to look into things here. I feel like this person has really been through a lot this time of uh, really healing from what they've been through. Again, it's like they're very mature and they're very ready. They've cut all the things that are not healthy, that were holding them back and are just ready for their person, ready for you, ready for that new beginning here. They're not letting endings get them down. This person is also very mysterious here. Very mysterious. They can come off kind of secretive. Maybe until you get to know them, until you really get deep into that, that, that knowledge of each other, right? Talking to each other, those late night conversations to really dig in. This person is all about trust and stability. Like it, it, Again, it's like they want something serious and they want to know that they're also going to be safe and uh, have security here when it comes to what they want, which is success and love. This person is a hard worker, very, very hard worker. I feel like this person will also give you space, give you time if you need it. Like you do your own thing, they'll do their own thing. You come back together, miss each other. It's like nothing ever happened. It's, it's healthy, it's steady, it's secure, right? It's just, it's a nice balance here. So yeah, we definitely have some Scorpio energy here coming through strong. Taurus was coming through strong. We have Cancer here. Let's look at the two of you. The two of you together. Oh, beautiful. Feeling like you both have what you've always wanted. So much happiness here. Uh, the two of you feeling so grateful to have met each other. Knight of Swords. It's going to be hard here to not rush things because it's like the two of you are going to just be ready, uh, feeling that impulse to just let's rock with this. Let's go with this. I want you. You want me. Uh, definitely a lot of positive energy here with you and this person. A lot of attention, a lot of love, a beautiful balance here of energies together, being happy, making each other happy and putting in that work, putting in that effort. We have the high priestess here. 
I feel like the two of you are going to have a good balance here at, at keeping things interesting, uh, having a lot of things in common, but also very different as well. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. And again, there's more let's go. There's more of that, that fire that's lit. That's like, listen, this is what I want. This is what I've always wanted. It's like the two of you are really going to feel that with each other. And it's really going to drive the two of you together to want to get this moving. But again, might take off kind of quickly here. Things might be happening kind of quickly here for a lot of you already. But it's very positive. It's very good. There's a lot of mystery here. This person might feel like you're kind of mysterious. <laughs> like there's a lot more that they uh, want to get into, want to know about you. They might feel like you're kind of secretive a little bit here, holding on to certain things until you feel ready to talk about them, ready to elaborate more. But this person wants to know. This person is in it. This person is full of hope, full of passion, full of knowledge, and wants long term. The two of you together are going to be very positive and put so much into each other. Whatever is needed, whatever was lacking before, everything that you two have learned, it's all about that drive to make it work, that drive to, to stick it out and to build together. So very consistent energy here. So let's get some Oracle cards here. What else we can pick up on about this person, Aries, let's see. Twin flame. We have the tiger, Chinese zodiac here, someone courageous, ambitious, competitive, a leader, very confident and very charismatic. Definitely. This person is going to be very confident. It's like when this person puts their mind to something, they will do it. They will figure it out. They will investigate it. This is a doer. And you guys might match each other's energy there. All right. Chinese zodiac, the goat here, someone tasteful, crafty, warm, elegant, charming, intuitive, empathic, sensitive, and calm. We have karmic here. Coming in as a partner or companion on the bottom. Yeah, this, this is, again, it's like you want long-term, this person wants long-term. And they're coming in right. They're coming in with good intentions, the right intentions here. Let's see. Let's get more about this person. Okay, this person may be bald, have a shaved head here, average height. This person may have freckles. This person may have a mole or beauty mark that you notice they have on their face. Could be anywhere, but some type of beauty mark here. This person may have tattoos. Let's get some more. Let's get into their personality here. So this person's traits. Let's see. All right. This person may be creative, observant, a daredevil, and again, self-confident. Uh, this person likes to laugh. They're into comedy. This person likes to do anything that's full of action. They may have like a weapon collection. They like to hunt. Uh, they're into aviation, skydiving, motorcycles, you name it. This person is a doer. They like to be on the move. They like to go. They like to have adventure. They like to have fun. The two of you can be out somewhere just driving and they're like, well, what's that? Let's go check it out. Like they're just, again, a doer. All right. We have earth signs here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. All right. Some other traits here. This person may get easily distracted. It might be hard for this person to pay attention. Just as much passion and drive that this person has, Aries, it might be hard for them to focus on uh, certain things because they're over, they're just like all over the place. But again, the main focus is getting things done. So yeah, they can get easily distracted. They dislike rules. They can be condescending at times. 
Let's get more here. All right, this person may be generous, outgoing, warm-hearted, unconventional. Their possible interest, uh, nutrition, real estate, mechanics, family traditions, cooking, entertaining, uh, politics. This person is really giving, really kind. Uh, this person may uh, like to give to charities. So a very kind, generous person. This person may be disorganized. They overthink. They can be very emotional. They need approval. Let's see. More about the person coming towards Aries. I feel like this person also likes nice things like they like um they're like a gadget person like they like the i don't know like they like nice cars they like nice equipment they like to have things okay let's see okay wears hats often Wrote you a message but never sent it. Lives in a warmer climate. This person has brown eyes. Two here. Can speak more than one language fluently. Their last name begins with a vowel. Let's get some more. This person already knows who you are. Some of you may know this person already. You will see them in person this month. Okay. Now, let's, let's get more. More about this person. All right, this person is an Aries. Definitely picked up on that energy. I mean you no harm. Very kind, very sweet, very generous. This is a team player here. This person may have gray or white hair. They might have that salt and pepper look going on. We have darker skin. Okay. This person is honest. Honest, thoughtful. Lighter skin. This person may be shorter than you. And we have feminine energy here. Okay. Let's get more. Let's see. Okay. Dating. A lot of you are getting back out there right now. There may be someone that you are really interested in. You know this person already. You're courting, dating, meeting up, maybe meeting for the first time. Have a date coming up here. Third party, interference, competition. A lot of you may feel like this person has some competition, like they may be dating uh, several people. You might be dating several people doing your thing. Uh, toxic relationships here, codependent misunderstanding. Uh, this might be what you've given up on, tired of, not going to accept any toxic relationships. And we have reconciliation here, reunion, second chance, I miss you, back together. So there may be someone you already know, Aries, that wants to get back with you. That energy keeps popping up here. So that's for some of you. Someone who cheated before. Trying to come back now when you're dating and getting back out there. We have a love offer, agreement, a wish coming true. You definitely have that, that wish uh, coming true energy here, that nine of cups. So there's a love offer here. 
someone that you're dating, finances, money problems, work, material things, success, someone who likes nice things, someone who is very uh, financially responsible, again, very stable, very secure, hookup, one night stand, intimacy, casual relationships, fling. Some of you might be in a situation here with someone and it's like they're very, uh, it's like they're in and out, they're back and forth. You know, like you guys do your thing, you hang out, you have that moment of intimacy, but it's hard to kind of keep them there, keep them present. <clears throat> Fated meeting, meant to be, destiny, predetermined. There's definitely an account here. There, there, there's an encounter, a love offer. For some of you, you might meet this person and it happens when you least expect it because you have a lot here about quick movement. All right. There's some shocking changes here. Uh, again, that lightning striking, it kind of breaks apart things that have been happening for quite some time and brings some positive changes here. So there's definitely a faded meeting here for some of you. And on the bottom, divine timing, everything in its right place. Might have been feeling like things have been very boring. Uh, having that stalemate, waiting, waiting, being patient, patient, right? Feeling like things are happening at the wrong time. It's just all about that divine time. So let's see. Let's get more here. respect very important very needed what you're focused on what you want when it comes to a relationship not cheating not someone who has mistress not someone who is lying not someone who is being secretive no more toxic energy fully understanding looking at things with a different perspective here aries and respecting yourself and demanding respect all along the way here with your new ventures in dating and being single. There's someone here who's definitely going to take some charge here, though, when they come in with this love offer. This person is going to be very assertive, very direct. Okay. Trust in the Holy Spirit. God is with you. Have faith. Have faith in yourself. Hold on to that respect, what you value, what you hold dear. Power on the bottom. Do not give your power away to others. It's okay to say no. If there's someone here that you're dating and it doesn't quite feel right and they're offering you an offer here, but you don't feel right, sometimes you can just say no. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Because in div divine timing, what is meant for you, it is coming in and it will happen. No one can stop your happiness. No one can put anything on you that is going to stop your happiness. Have that faith. That's your power. Okay, let's see. Eleven, eleven is an important number for twin flames. You have twin flames here. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. That's the focus. Having that balance, having that happiness, right? That positive relationship where the two of you are a team. You two are partners. You two are lovers. Connecting in so many ways. And again, having so much more fun. But it feels safe. It feels right. And you feel ready. It comes back to love. Love conquers all. It's a beautiful thing. I feel like that time is coming for you. That new beginning here. go invisible <clears throat> taking a lot of time for you a lot of you may be in this place where you're just 
taking a lot of time to be independent, uh, thinking about getting back out there. But again, it's like that, that initial jump into getting back into it, into the dating scene, feeling like, you know, things have been kind of flat, uh, been kind of stale. Things aren't really progressing forward. It's like feeling like, you know, you're in that place where it's just invisible. It's hard to see what's coming. It's hard to see things moving. But things happen when you least expect it. You have faith. Love conquers all. Not giving your power away just because things are kind of either boring or they're not moving or you feel invisible. What is meant for you is coming to you. Exactly. Settling down for love. Finding it easy when you find that one who is ready to connect with you and settle for love. All the things that you want, you both want. When you connect together, you look together, you work together, and you are a true team. You have all the things that you wanted. You have respect. You have love. Conquering new ventures together. New beginnings opening up. Feeling very powerful because you have your power. You're holding on to it. Having a healthy relationship, not a toxic relationship. Sometimes in that place where you feel invisible and you've been waiting, waiting, waiting. When you get to that place where things change. You feel happy that you did wait, that it did take time. Rather it be right than to keep going around and around and around. It's tiring. All right, there's, there's steady beginnings here, stable beginnings here. That's what I'm liking here. Settling for love. Love conquers all. Lost and found love. So again, never invisible. No matter how boring things are again, no matter how quiet things are, no matter if you don't have a lot going on right now, feel lost. You can always be found. Settling for love, which truly matters to you. You being loved. You having the love you deserve. So, let's see if we can get a timing card here. For those of you who don't already know this person or already aren't already <laughs> dating this person, let's see. Let's see what we can get here. Okay. In June. June can be very significant here. All right, let's see. Alternative. Knowing that it's okay to say no. Knowing you don't have to accept an offer if you know that it isn't for you, Aries. There's always an alternative here. A different path. It's about your respect. It's about what you want and what is going to make you happy. So your guys are telling you not to settle. When one door closes, another opens. There's always an alternative. There's always a way through. There's always a way forward. What's meant to you is coming to you. Okay. True love. Love conquers all. Aries, this is the love of a lifetime. 
once in a lifetime. Doesn't matter how invisible, how quiet, or albeit boring, not a lot going on. That's what matters. This is worth waiting for. The energy on this card, the visual on this card. This is worth waiting for. True love. That love that does conquer all feels that way. It can. So really nice reading here. So that's what I got for you, Aries. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.